So I was just scrolling on the Hearthstone forums because, uh, well, there's a lot of updates in here that don't make it to the patch notes that are important. Uh, and some of this is insane. Like, there's this thread that I'll read to you in a second. Hearthstone really is rigged. Here's how to beat it. But it got like 33,000 views, like more than any of the others. This is more than my videos get. And 1.7 thousand replies. So I clicked on it, I started reading it, and that it, like it's actually worrying that this is getting so much attention. So basically, after playing 14,000 games of Hearthstone since beta and reaching a legend multiple times with every class, so this is about standard, but still. Uh, I've come to the conclusion that this game is 100% rigged. I love 100%, like there's no doubt this is 100% rigged. It's impossible that it is fair. Uh, those who say it isn't, I'm sorry, you're just wrong. This is not a troll. Okay, so I hope he is gonna explain why and what his findings are and like why he no is so certain that it's rigged, right? Because I mean, that, that would make sense. Uh, after my first legend, I stopped playing meta decks and really focused on playing unique off the wall decks that very few people play. What I noticed even playing non meta decks is that if you play a deck consistently, a of about 65% you will start for facing hard counters not meta deck counters specific unique decks hard counters for non meta decks yeah interesting so you're kind of like forced to face opponents that are gonna beat you the only issue with the stake is that the people that are hard uh, countering you they will be winning all their games so there's like a 50% of players that get hard countered and the other 50% is gonna hard counter others according to this right so that means that half of the players will Always get lucky and always face people that they're gonna beat. And then he's part of the other 50% that is always gonna face people that have deck counters against you. Here's why that happens. Blizzard is a business. The number one goal for Blizzard is to make money for investors and for the business. Getting players addicted to the game is vital to reach that goal. The way to get someone addicted is to give them all small incremental successes while simultaneously hurting them. Hurting is the key factor. I don't think a company benefits from hurting people necessarily. We get addicted to the pain so we play another game, buy more cards, complain that we hate it, then jump back on the next day to play some more. It feels like a year issue. If I don't play, I enjoy the game, I don't play it now i'm in a little bit of a different position because it's my job but back when i played standard and i just had a bad time i just quit and i didn't play until i found a deck that i enjoyed so that just seems like you're addicted to the game but i'm pretty sure that not everyone is in the same boat even though yes there is like a lot of ways that game companies do work with like the pack system and with like gambling systems to try and get you hyped up and to try and well also play on your emotions as a, a person so i do know that there's a lot of like systems in place that gacha games for example definitely abuse as well but having you queue into counter decks i don't think would be the way Blizzard wants us to succeed but very slowly go too fast high win rate consistently they will put a hammer on you well the thing is i've seen a lot of high mmr streamers and high rank streamers that are able to you know get legend with a really good win rate without having the same issue that you're mentioning without constantly facing the same counter decks it does exist but where's the evidence like show your game record or something i want evidence like the main issue as well and especially like with my videos as well don't just take my word for it don't take anyone's word for whatever you read on the internet Unless they provide like proof and stats, right? Uh, he hasn't done that yet. Yeah, this is actually nuts. Because then he goes on to like explain the system that he has to try and avoid counter queuing. But yeah, like this person says, if a game was rigged, there could be clear data to support it, uh, which deck trackers would also, you know, have. Rigging the game would be the stupidest thing they could do. Yeah. And also, still, it makes no sense because half of the players would be in favor then. So yeah, okay. This was just uh, maybe I went on too, uh, too long of a ramble here. But this was kind of insane to see this. He had so much anxiety engagement uh it's now locked as well but like about hearthstone being rigged it is a clear reflection of like the fan base that you know engages on forums like these maybe we should check out reddit sometime that could be interesting but okay on to a more interesting one is this a joke what is a joke <laughs> just more people complaining about matchups dude is this just all what the forums is people complaining about bad matchups it's this is just kind of like in my youtube comments i see quite often people also explaining like i played this and this and then i got unlucky with this i feel like people just need an outlet for all their bad rng it seems <laughs> i'm now looking for battleground stuff i once again see battlegrounds is rigged how do you even rig battlegrounds okay here's a hot fix as well that i haven't covered on the channel because i was gone but it's pretty important again the real sad part is that hot fixes like these don't make it to the patch notes or are not announced to people so we get patch notes that i review on here uh, but these kind of go under the radar so a lot of people don't 
don't even know this is a thing. But basically, Shadow Walk is now banned from Beast Lobby. So Shadow Walk was a big issue with like Alika tokens getting a bunch of triples. That is gone. You can no longer get this hero when there's Alicat or Beast in the lobby. So uh, farming triples with hero power won't be a thing. And Shadow Walk is actually going to be a pretty bad hero right now. Even though with like economy one drops, you could still pull off some stuff, but it's not going to be as good. Fix the Battlegrounds bug where Leroy the Reckless effect would destroy a minion that popped his Divine Shield. Yeah, so Leroy could value trade and then kill a different card. It, it, there was a pretty significant bug with it because even in the Lobby Legends finals, like the final fight in Lobby Legends that made uh, the person, well, win it all, was including the Leroy bug where something went wrong, so that was kind of unfortunate to see. Fix a bug where Mighty Shoal Spellcraft would not work correctly with Magnetic, okay. This is also a very old topic I see quite a lot, bring back buddies, uh, especially like in chat here on YouTube or even on Twitch, a lot of people want buddies back. And the main reason is because the meta is back to being stale. Uh, which, yeah, it, it, like, but having such a big thing being introduced in the game and then taking it back away does indeed, like, shake it up quite a lot in kind of a negative sense. It's like you're being taken something away for an update and things become less interesting. But again, buddies did pose, like, a, a problem that this skill for that people have to learn is way harder, so getting into the game is indeed, like... You gotta learn way more stuff. There's also more heroes being added that people need to learn and then learning a buddy for each hero. It's gonna be a lot. So increasing the barrier of entry, uh, increasing... Not really the skill because buddies made the game easier. You just need to play for your buddy. Very often that was your win condition. Just play for buddy and every game kind of gets more streamlined. With the majority of people being casuals, you know, that's a good... Thing because they just want to play and, and have crazy high roll games and kind of know what they're doing. But for top tier play, it was kind of boring. Uh, you didn't really have as many things to do. You can power level because of the buddy meter. You need to like be strong early on. So it's a little bit annoying. But here we have buddies sucked and I'm glad they are gone. So you have like both sides of the arguments. I found more patch notes that again were not really announced anywhere. But um, that basically removed Chroma Wing. And also added Steward of Time back. Uh, and I think I saw a comment somewhere. I love how to spend 20 minutes trying to find this information. Which seems to be hidden deeply within the forums. Same thing for me. Uh, I've actually been like looking for this for 15 minutes already. You would think that there would be some form of mentioning of these changes within the game itself. Yeah, like the main way that I get my info as well is from Twitter. Like I just see some dev post about this post and then I go find it that way. There has to be a better solution. Oh, and Jirexes and Battlegrounds. Yeah, they also stealth remove Jirexes apparently. I don't think there was ever an announcement for this, but Jirexes is just gone yeah makes very little sense but anyway that's just a quick dive into the forums of hearthstone and specifically battlegrounds now because uh, i was just like looking around here and i thought it was really interesting some things to see and i think it may might make for a um, cool discussion so let me know your thoughts down below if you want to see more videos like in this genre where i just kind of like look at some stuff online and and give my two cents on it because i do think there's some info that a lot of people might not really know yeah uh thanks for watching hope you have a good day